March 2nd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, starting with Scott.net, um, they're going on about uh, the big storms that came through uh, the United States yesterday. Uh, Missouri rain assess region assesses damage after powerful storm moves through. They had several tornadoes, uh, wind gusts, flooding. U.S. storm leaves thousands without power in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Again, the same series of storms. U.S. damaging winds, heavy rains, pound Midwest, move into southeast. And it was a fast-moving storm, a lot of damage here in the U.S., uh, spread over a very wide area. I even saw on the, the Weather Channel yesterday uh, uh, a dam broke outside of Cincinnati and they had a lot of flooding uh, but it went down quick because it was I think it was a resort dam or something. A US storm brings mix of heavy rain, high wind and snow to northwest Oregon. So here comes the next wave folks. Uh, California is supposed to get slammed and um, move through the Midwest as it always does. So winter is not over by any means whatsoever. Hope you enjoyed your little break wherever you did. And uh, <clears throat> tens of houses flooded due to heavy rains in Indonesia's West Sumatra. Uh, Indian Indonesia authorities on Monday informed that tens of houses were flooded due to heavy rains during the, the weekend in the Agam district in West Sumatra, uh, they reported. So tens of houses, what, less than a hundred? Magnetic storm in progress. Solar wind stream hits Earth. Um, of course, space weather's all over this and uh, everybody else, and there are those uh, terrific northern lights going on right now. Uh, sparking a G2 class geomagnetic storm, geomagnetic storm in progress. Ooh, I'll definitely be checking out the north, but I'm a little south for all of that. Aftershocks continue to shake Christchurch, uh, Wellington. Um, 4.6 magnitude aftershock in Christchurch. Um, you know, I saw pictures where a boulder rolled through a house, and I mean, there's just still rocking and rolling over there. Uh, U.S. 4.4 magnitude earthquake shakes area near the geysers. Uh, now this is Sonoma County, California. Uh, they've been having a quake storm going on right there for for a long time. And uh, they just had like a pretty big one. They're not used to getting anything over 3.0, but they're, it's very frequent to have quakes right in that geyser region. So they had some uh, major things going on. On the extinction protocol, uh, they have a fear piece. Scientists warn of more intense future snowstorms as climate unravels. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like it's a global warming PR piece, and they're trying to blame the snow on the earth heating up. Uh, NASA to set up camera network across U.S. to triangulate fireballs. Um, they're just going to track the incoming meteors that hit us every day. We get tons and tons of debris from outer space every year on Earth. And uh, you wonder why the growing Earth theory uh, continues. It's got to go somewhere. Um, sunburn. Solar wind from coronal hole blasts planet Earth. A solar wind stream hit magnetics Earth's field during the early hours of March 1st. Impacts sparked several geomagnetic storm that was at first minor, but the storm has been intensifying throughout the day. Spotters are now reporting auroras over Northern Ireland, Scotland, Latvia, Norway, and Sweden. If the trend include and continues, uh, the display could spread to the high ladder latitudes of North America after nightfall. Stay tuned. Spaceweather.com And uh, tremors rumble across North and South Islands of New Zealand. Um, it's very volcanic area right there on the edge of the Pacific Plate. Very, very active area. My heart goes out to you. 
please continue to look out after each other. All the stories I've seen is just people coming out of the woodworks to help each other. I'm very proud of you, New Zealand. And uh, I want to end it tonight on a um, global warming bullshit story. Um, actually, here is an eminent geophysicist rejects global warming theories, says world on the verge of a mini ice age. Now, I think we're, we're heading for more than just a mini ice age, but check it out. Uh, February 18th, 2011, uh, LifeSiteNews.com, an eminent Mexican geologist, geophysicist, says that despite predictions of global warming based on computer models, the world may be on the verge of an 80-year cold period similar to the Little Ice Age experienced by Europe from 1300 to 1800 A.D. Victor Manuel... Victor Manuel Velasco, Victor Manuel Velasco, of the University of Mexico Institute of Geophysics, said that the recent winter winter conditions similar to those of the Little Ice Age, in particular, the Mander Minimum, a period during which the sunspot activity dropped significantly. He also notes that the Earth is in a similar position today in relation to the rest of the solar system, a fact which he regards as a significant for the climate. Uh, of course, the story goes on and on. Um, that's just somebody certified calling bullshit on all this um, global warming. And that is about it for today. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. And um, until I see you tomorrow, enjoy what you can, everybody.